Hi, I'm Miss Holly and I'm here with a STEM activity that you can try at home. Today we're going to be doing graham cracker plate tectonics. Um, but before we get started, I want to sort of give you a little bit of background on what plate tectonics are. So the earth is made up of a few different layers um, and then the outermost layer sort of surrounds the other layers like a shell and that's called the crust. But it's not one piece, um, it's broken into um, lots of different pieces, sort of like a puzzle, and they sit together on the outside of the next layer down, which is the mantle. Um, the mantle, if it's under enough pressure, and uh, if the temperature's high enough, it can sort of flow like a liquid, and that causes those plates the of the crust to sort of move and interact with each other. So plate tectonics is just studying how those plates interact with one another. So for graham cracker plate tectonics, I bet you already know you're gonna need some graham crackers. You're also gonna need some Cool Whip or store brand uh, non-dairy whip topping. And then optional would be to have uh, food coloring if you wanted to make it look more magma-like. I've colored mine, but you don't have to. It still works if you don't color it. And you will need just some water. Okay. So for the first one, you're going to take your graham cracker and split it in half. So the first one we're going to do is called a transform boundary. So I'm going to put the graham crackers in here. So a transform boundary is what it's called when these plates move past each other and sort of rub. So I don't know if you can hear that but there's friction between the plates. They're, they're rubbing next to each other, but it's sort of catching. They're not smoothly passing each other. Um, so the friction is what causes earthquakes. So sometimes if there's enough, enough friction, you'll, you'd be able to feel that when that happens. So that was a transform boundary. Uh, the next one is a divergent boundary. So the plates would start out together. So for this one, you're gonna take them like this, sort of push down and pull apart. And if you look, there's a little ridge in the middle. So um, a lot of times this will happen underneath the ocean with two oceanic plates. They move apart like that, magma seeps through and it makes new seafloor or sometimes even uh, underwater volcanoes. So that is that one. So the opposite of the divergent boundaries where they split up would be convergent boundaries. So the opposite of them moving away from each other would be them moving towards each other. So one way that that happens um, is if one of these plates slides over the top of the other one at the subduction zone. So maybe this one goes down and then this one goes up. So do you see it's sort of pushing that one up? So sometimes mountain ranges are formed this way. Um, if you're familiar with the Cascades and the Pacific Northwest, those were formed like this. There's another way that mountains are formed at convergent boundaries, and I'm going to show you that one. That one's a little bit trickier. I'm going to get some fresh graham crackers for this one. So for that one, you're going to do the same thing. Split this in half, but you're going to dip the ends in the water for just a couple seconds. So I have that right here. I'm gonna kind of moisten these. Just boom. Moisten this one. Boom. So these are still gonna converge. These are gonna converge, but instead of one sliding under the other, they sort of just push each other up because they're they're softer. Oops. Do you see how that sort of just bent them and made sort of a mounded, rounded mountain? And the Himalaya mountains were formed in that manner. So it was a convergent boundary, um, but they just sort of pushed together like that. So that was graham cracker plate tectonics. The awesome part of this is now you have all these graham crackers and Cool Whip to eat afterwards. Um, and you learned something. So I hope you try this at home and I will see you next time.